Hey y'all, it's Sue, and I am picking milkweed pods to pull um, seeds out of. And I wanted to show y'all, um, a lot of these are like green still, and when you kind of squeeze here, there is a seam that will pop open if you've never seen milkweed seed spread. And inside, which I'll show you in a bit, is all the little brown seeds, but also all these little white fluffs, kind of like dandelion fluffs. And I try to pick them right before they start to, to pop open. And you're looking kind of where you can squeeze them. And if it squeezes right here at the seam, sometimes it'll pop. These right here that I've already picked, you can tell are a little bit yellower. Um, the green ones kind of feel like okra, like when you're growing okra and just, you know, fresh okra. So I know those aren't ready. Here's another one. So I'm kind of looking for this yellow color. So here you can tell how it's lightened up next to these green ones. I'm gonna pick this one and then I'll show you what I do and why I do that. My dancing plant. Um, just, um, to avoid a big mess, really. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure there's not any more. It's um, mid-October, so things are starting to fade. We're actually gonna have 30s here in Mineral Bluff on Saturday. Won't be freezing, which is good, because I'm not ready for that. But I am ready for some nice, cool mountain weather. But I'll show you um, what I'm gonna do with these next. Okay. I'm now going to show you um, how I get these seeds out without a mess. Now this side right here on the left, these are swamp milkweed. And you can get a better idea of what's going on. These are about ready to start flying all over the place. And these are real easy because I could just, I want to hold on to this white part here at the bottom and just pull the seeds off like that. And see, some of the white even came out. Some of it you can shake off, but you want to keep hold of this end with the um, with the white. And get the seeds out. And then after I get them all emptied, I'm going to... Um, these are a little damp. It hadn't rained, but they are just a little damp. So you want to get this the white fringes out and... Um, just dispose of them. I just throw them out. Um, they do make a mess. It's like a dandelion going crazy or a burn weed. We have that, my nemesis. I called it fire weed for the longest. Then I found out it's a burn weed and I wish I could burn it because it's, it's like spreading all over. So here again, this one's a poke. So we're gonna open it up and see down here at the bottom, that's, where we want to hold on to. And then we just open it. And you can tell because this the seeds are going this way towards the other tip so that we know that we want to hold it. Now this one's a lot drier. Probably by tomorrow, this would have been like looking like a dandelion lion gone crazy. And they also come off a lot easier. So I'm just emptying those out. I'm just trying to get that and just by holding on to these at the end I'm able to prevent this from happening can you see that those start flying all over the place and then you got a mess okay I'll throw that out real quick so this side here is swamp milkweed it has a um, it is a native milkweed and it has like a pinkish flower um, and then these are poke milkweeds over here. These are the ones I was showing you. And again, you can just go along the seam, find where the seam is here and see how they're getting ready to come out. I'm gonna take this tip right here. And it, if you have any doubt, look at the way the seeds are going. Because there's white here, but if I hold this end, it doesn't do any good for me, the top end. But see how the seeds, they're attached facing my right hand, okay? The top of the seed is facing my left. So you wanna hold where the bottom of the seed 
is, is at, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna just pop it holding tight onto this part. And this one wasn't as right, but see, they are coming off pretty well. And I don't wanna get them mixed up. Um, it's funny, to this year, my Monarchs, um, this is the first time since we've moved here to Mineral Bluff, Georgia. Um, it's all, we have almost a year now. Um, the Monarchs didn't do anything with my pokeweed. I had all of my caterpillars on my swamp milkweed, but not my poke milkweed. And my poke milkweed is big. So you can see here, if I let go of this end, that's all going to go fluttering like this little piece down here. So, but yeah, it was just different. And then my regular butterfly weed, the Asclepia tuberosa, um, this is in Carnata. I can't remember what poke is. I'll have to look it up. Um, it's got a Latin name too. And um, they didn't even go on it. So the traditional butterfly weed. So that's how you de-seed or get your seeds out of your milkweed pod. You wanna make sure that they're kind of a yellowish color, not green, fresh like a fresh okra on the plant. You want them a little yellow. And then these were brown and they're cracked open, but man, tomorrow they would have been all over the place. So that's how you do it. Now, you, when you save them, I let these dry on the paper towel. As you can see, I have two for each kind, but let them dry on this paper towel, just, you know, a couple hours or whatever. And then I have a baggie. I just, I'll just fold up my paper towel and I tap, tap, tap and make it like a little funnel and they go into the baggie. And when I'm done, I'm still got a bunch of pokeweed, as you can see, um, seeds to collect. Um, when I'm done, I will put them in the refrigerator. I mark the baggies for the different kinds. And then they need to be, be stratified, have the stratification process of being in the refrigerator or being chilled. Um, I, I'll probably do that in November and then take them out like January-ish, February. I think I had them in last, I had a bunch of um, Asclepia tuberoso, tuberosa, the um, butterfly weed. I had that, all, I mean, I had so many seeds and I think they all came up. So they're really small. That's why I don't have those seed pods this year because the plants are small. These were older plants, so my plants are bigger. Um, but that way you can, um, chill them and then put them in a flat depending on your weather i think in march i started mine i did them in phases um, march april may i did trays and just kind of sprinkled them in a flat of good potting mix and um you know kept them damp didn't drown them or anything and i had a bunch come up so but if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and um I'll get back with you, but thanks for watching and be sure to share, comment, like, all that fun stuff. You know how to do it. Talk to you later.